She's got a big one in the back. She's got like a big tub. Just make her an offer, she'll probably bless you. I mean, that, that, that's the first time I've, I've ever been a part of, you know, a uh, part of praying for people when their ears opening up. You know, it, it's like you see other people do it, but there's a lot of people that don't have the boldness to do that. And you know, going through the, the, the school all week and, you know, and being a part of it, I think that helped a lot. You know, be, me being able to, able to be bold enough to, you know, pray for somebody and just expect and see their ears open up. I mean, that's like amazing. It's amazing. So, you know, God is good, man. He can, he can use anybody. And when you step out in, in faith and believe in him, anything can happen. Yeah, this glass bottle, he, he, they will need us yeah. to have a... Uh, so get one of those little yogurts for this little baby out here? She's like little, but she can't with yeah. Bro, we gotta go somewhere with their sodas. This, this is just juice. Oh. Yeah. Where's soda? They don't have any more? No, I'm saying, I was advising, because this is 15 shillings, right. this bottle. They, they want soda. They want soda? Yeah, now, soda they're only 25 shillings. Yeah, but the sodas are over there. The sodas also now, the, the empty bottles. I don't know where they are. Well, let's take them over here. Uh, yeah. Let's take them to this store. They won't charge the deposit because they'll return them. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do they have bottled sodas here? Do you have bottled sodas at the Okay, let's go. Okay, we gotta go over here. We gotta go. Can we pay for that? Yeah, we gotta go over there. Well, we gotta go with their sodas. <laughs>
you have? Got my friend Elton here. Yeah. And uh, Paul. So we're gonna ordain Elton today. Oh, wow. See that? So we're walking over to uh, walking through the town. You know, we've uh, we're actually gonna walk through the town that we've been ministering in, Machacos. And so just kind of wanted to record what's going on. You know, it's amazing that you know there's people that just love the Lord with all their hearts and. You know, they're just like like you and I, and we just want to do the best we can at being an example of who Christ is in our lives. And so we're just gonna walk through the town right now. You know, the Lord's rallied everybody together, and uh, literally hundreds. God bless.
getting ready to go to Nairobi. Um, where else we going? Uh, to pray for people. And we understand that it's going to be um, pretty crowded, kind of like being in New York, New York or something. And people are going to be, you know, bumping up against it. So we want to take safety precautions and that. Um, you know, not uh, carry our backpacks on their back, but in our front. So if it looks kind of weird, if you guys see me, woman that's pregnant. I'm thinking that I don't want to. Oh, no, I'm thinking that. Um, that, you know, God's gonna do something amazing. Uh, every time we go out, it just seems like you know, every God, God just blowing my mind and, uh, and showing up and just, just, it's just amazing. So. Woo! Man, the missions, boy. You can ride on that thing for six and a half hours in the middle of the desert. Oh, bro, that would suck. So what's up, Polly? Crazy missions like that, bro. On those things, be riding like five, six hours in the middle of the desert, yeah. in the middle of nowhere. See some of the greatest miracles I've ever seen, though. Oh, that's tight. So, what do you recommend to people that are watching this, Polly? That say, hey, you know, I want to go to Kenya. I want, I want to go out in the field. I want to learn to do what Polly B does. Man, I tell you what, I, I just recommend that you just take that step and just step out. You know, this is one of the greatest experiences you ever experienced in your life. This has been uh, been life changing for me. You know, in the last probably four years, it's radically changed my life in every aspect. Even how I view life, how I look at life, how I look at circumstances and things around me, how I appreciate even life. You know, when you get around some of these people who have for you know just struggle and just have such a hard time, but such loving people. You know what I mean? And you see that in their life and you just want to pour out into them but I tell you more than anything the experience is bar none you know you just have the opportunity just to pour in so seed in people's life it's absolutely amazing I recommend just step out and go give it a shot come out here have a good time we got a big crew enjoying themselves back there man so it's a blast these guys are just soaking it in having a great time yeah we got we got natives over here <laughs> That was Oh, we got some other little kids over here, some little rowdy ones. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's that ghetto wine, look. What's up, guys? What are you guys doing? How are you? Doing good, doing good. What are you guys doing? You guys just got out of school? Yes. Yeah? Hey guys, come here. Here, hold this. Hold this, watch this. I want to tell you something, all right? You know about Jesus? <laughs> yeah. yeah? Did he love you? Where does he live? Huh? Where does he live? Are you trying to me? Hey, uh, see, I don't want no gum, me? I want some money. <laughs> 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 You're being so cheap, Mark. <laughs> Your turn, They're running to the candy shop. 